Hello everyone! Today we're going to make some beautiful flower paintings using string. You're going to need two pieces of paper or cardstock, um, either a popsicle stick or toothpicks. You're going to need any type of string that you can find, some acrylic paint, and some scissors and then any type of surface to put your paint on. I have this glass plate. You can use a paper plate or spare cardboard. We're going to start by cutting three pieces of string, one for each flower that you make. I'm gonna measure one piece of string about a foot long, and then we'll cut it. Now that you have your first piece of string, we're gonna use it to measure out two more. Now once you have your string ready, we can set them aside and get our paint ready. So on my surface, I'm going to pour a few colors of paint out in a straight line. Next, we're gonna take our first piece of string and lay it out in the paint. Make sure that you have some part of the string that you can grab onto. Using our popsicle stick, we are going to make sure that the string is completely covered. Once you are sure that your string is covered completely in paint, we're going to carefully lift it up like this. On our first piece of paper, we're going to lay the string out, leaving lots of twists and curves behind. And make sure that part of the string that you wanna grab is hanging off the edge of the paper. The loops in the string are going to make the shape of flower petals. And then when we place the second piece of paper on top, we're gonna push down with our hand very gently, but also firmly, and make sure that your hand is on top of the string underneath. Now, again, very gently, we're going to take this part of the string and pull the end of the string all the way out. When we lift up our paper, you'll see we have our first flower. Now we're gonna repeat these instructions to make two more flowers. You can use different colors of paint, different lengths of string. So for these next two flowers, I'm using three new colors of paint. We're gonna do the same thing, lay out our string. and then cover it. Once you have your string all covered, I'm going to lift it out very gently. Lift it all the way up so you don't get it all over your painting. 
and then we're going to make a different pattern squiggles so that we can make a different kind of flower now take your top sheet flip it over and sandwich your string between the two pieces again we're going to take our hand lay it on top of the string and take the clean end gently pull all the way out set your string aside and take a look at your new flower so take your next piece of string i'm using the same colors and lay it out just like before and we'll take our top page and sandwich our string and take your hand push down gently but firmly grab the end of the string with no paint and pull all the way out Now that you're finished, you have not only one, but two beautiful flower paintings to keep for yourself or give one to a friend.